Elizabeth Bowen is author of The Death of the Heart. First printed in 1938, its exploration of emotions and relationships is a trademark of this book. The narrative takes place in London throughout the interwar years. It centers on a small child called Portia Quain. Portia is orphaned. She moves in with Anna, the wife of her half-brother Thomas. Their house is frigid and unpleasant. Portia fits poorly in this setting. She is gullible and innocent. Her arrival throws the house out of order. Portia has a diary. She notes in her notebook her emotions and experiences. Anna comes upon and reads the diary. This betrayed deed starts a series of events. It causes emotional struggle and misinterpretation. Portia starts to love a man called Eddie. Though engaging, Eddie is erratic. He hardly really cares for her. For Portia, their relationship is complex and difficult. Eddie's actions further separates her. The book looks at ideas of love, treachery, and innocence. One main focus is Portia's innocence. Surrounded by emotionally detached adults is she. These folks do not get her. Their own issues have them mired in. Portia's innocence makes her susceptible. She battles to fit in the world. The title, The Death of the Heart, mirrors this loss of innocence. Portia grows increasingly conscious of the hard facts of life as the narrative advances. Her heart literally dies as she feels let down and betrayed. The delicacy of Elizabeth Bowen's writing is well known. She creates atmosphere by means of thorough descriptions. The book lacks intense action. Rather, it emphasizes the characters inside life. Bowen probes their ideas and feelings thoroughly. This becomes the book a psychological analysis of its characters. Furthermore crucial for the book is London's backdrop. The city mirrors the character's solitude and frigidity. The sister-in-law of Portia, Anna is a multifarious figure. She guards her emotional distance. She has no idea how to reach Portia. Her actions, reading Portia's diary, among other things, show her disrespect of limits. Similarly disengaged is Thomas, Portia's half-brother. Appearance counts more to him than feelings. Their marriage is chilly and strained. Portia's presence exposes their relationship's shortcomings. Still another important character in the book is Eddie. He is superficial yet charming. He likes the attention Portia pays him. Still, he does not share her emotions. His approach of Portia is negligent and cruel. Eddie stands for the risks of flimsy charm. His character runs counter to Portia's genuineness. The death of the heart offers also a social criticism. It demonstrates how emotionally apart people could be. Many times, the characters are not able to communicate their actual emotions. This causes misconceptions and discontent. Bowen challenges the societal conventions supporting this emotional reserve. The book makes the case that this restraint might be harmful. The finish of the book is dubious. For Portia, it offers no obvious fix. She departs the Quain house but her future is still unknown. This captures the doubt of growing up. By the end of the book Portia's path is not finished. The reader is left to consider her next course. British writer Elizabeth Bowen was Irish-born. She was renowned for her short stories and novels. Her works frequently address displacement, memory, and war. Considered among her best books is The Death of the Heart. Its psychological depth and graceful language are commended. Bowen's portrayal of feelings is subdued but forceful. All told, The Death of the Heart is a book on the loss of innocence. It looks at the nuances of betrayal and love. Portia's account is one of emotional development and self-discovery. The intricacy and psychological insight of the book make reading it rich and gratifying. Elizabeth Bowen's deft writing vividly captures the character's feelings. Still a masterpiece of 20th-century literature, the book is.